The Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze, Rash and Justice talking movies. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. Now, unfortunately, our winner, Bobby, uh, who was going to have to choose which child was his favorite uh, <laughs> to take check out the movie this week, uh, he, he couldn't go. At the, at the last minute, he had to bail out. So Justice was by himself. I was going to try to go, but the plague's running through my home, so I was I was at home <laughs> taking care of yet another sick family member. <laughs> Super fun. Uh, you were at the movies last night. Thanks to uh, Maya Cinemas for always doing this with us. So you get VIP seats, popcorn, sodas, and you check out a new movie this week. It was the new Dix- Dixie. I did it again. <laughs> Disney Pixar <laughs> movie, Onward. Uh, how was it? It was good, man. It was. I really enjoyed it. Of course, those Pixar movies usually are pretty good. They, they they know what they're doing. Um, Chris Pratt is hilarious in this. Basically, he kind of plays Andy Dwyer. Mm-hmm. So that's always solid. So if you're a Parks and Rec fan, that's, yeah. a, that's kind of the gist for his character. Okay, Big time. Uh, Tom Holland was really good. Uh, the story got to me a little bit. I oh, do have did a, it hit I, you in I, the feelers? I, I cried. I did. Like Toy Story 3 crying or no. just like? No, okay. not bawling, but tears. <laughs> Because I do, I do. Who are you? Did you take anyone with you, or were you just crying in the movie theater by yourself? No, <laughs> I still took like, my kid. You're like looking at him, like, what's wrong with that guy? Is no, he crying because no. of the movie, or no, is he I, alone? I still took my kid. I, oh, I, your I took girlfriend? Aaron with me, and then she brought one of her friends. So, uh, yeah, me and Aaron cried together. That was, that was a nice little moment. I guess we got to share. <laughs> but uh, so tell no. people what it's about. So, I mean, if we if you missed it on Tuesday or you don't know, yeah. what's what's the story? Uh, so the younger brother has his birthday. He just turned 16. Uh, they live in this world that used to have magic and then eventually started getting ruined by technology okay. and the magic kind of disappeared. All right, but it's but it's it's based in like fantasy land, right? Like yeah. fairies and unicorns no, yeah, and like that kind elves, of thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, the All whole right. thing. All right. And uh so when he turned 16, the dad uh the younger one never met his dad. His dad passed away before he was born. Mm-hmm. And uh he left him a wizard staff. So he said when he turned 16, give this to him. And there was a spell or a spell that came with it that can bring the dad back for a day. Okay. And they bring him halfway back, <laughs> and the spell stops working, so they have to go on a quest. So let me ask you this. They're on the quest to, to make the rest of it work. Did the clock on the day start when the legs show up? Like, are they out of time by the time the, the rest of the dad shows up, or do they still get a full day with dad when this thing's over? Uh, the, Yeah, no, it, it's one of those. Are, they're out of, the, the clock is ticking? Mm-hmm. Great. So I know how this movie's going to end. Yeah, no, they, they get like... Yeah, great. Yeah. Awesome. Short, that, short time with dad. Fantastic. Short time with dad. Uh, if you want to take the kids to it, I'm assuming that's the target here, right? No, yeah, it's definitely a kid's movie, and the, the story... Is uh, like most Pixar movies are actually geared towards adults, so you're still There's gonna like it. There's enough in it that adults will enjoy it. Yeah. kids will be like, "I yeah. didn't get that joke about light beer." Okay, got it. Actually, no, no, I wouldn't say there are really any adult jokes in this. It's just that the story's pretty deep because it's these kids trying to get their dad back to get like one. I don't know. Last kids are a lot more emotionally sophisticated this day than you. They might, today, hey, yeah, they might, might be. All right, onward in theaters this weekend. Undoubtedly, this will be the big movie for the weekend. Uh, Disney oh, knows yeah. what they're doing, so if you want to check it out, Amaya Cinemas is a spot that you can reserve your seats. So check out their website. Big thanks to the guys out there for always helping us out. What movie are you gonna check out next week? Uh, honestly, I'm not totally sure because there's an indie flick coming out oh. that may or may not be shown at Maya. I'm not sure. What is it? Uh. Young ad- adult adolescence. Okay. It's a Pete Davidson movie. Sounds joyous. What's the other one you might do? Uh, either that or Bloodshot. <laughs> yes. That's Vin Diesel, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vin Diesel in a bag- big time action flick. All right, Justice. Well done. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, dude. Industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movie.